Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to use an app called Video Shop on your phone to create these really cool animations that I use on my YouTube shorts. Okay, here's an example of one I've made earlier. So I'm just going to press play so you can see. We've got a bunch of sacred geometry patterns, and they are put together with a transition to create this sort of drop in the ocean -y kind of effect. It's really cool and quite straightforward to make using this app. Now, Video Shop you can download for free and it's available on the App Store and I highly recommend it. Okay, you can see here the patterns are all um, line drawings that I've made in Photopea on my phone. There's tutorials about how to make some of these on my channel, Quentin Carpenter to Nature of Flowers, that you may have seen before. And you can see that with these shorts, they are done in such a way that they fill the screen either vertically or horizontal, depending which way you're looking at it. So there's the example. So what we need to do to create one of these is in Video Shop, we need to press the plus button and we need to import some images. Now, I find it really good if you make folders on your, of your phone so that you know where your pictures are. And in this case, I've got a folder down here called Sacred Geometry Cards. These are the images that I'm going to be using. So I've already arranged them in the order that I want them in the folder. So all I need to do to import them into Video Shop is click on them one at a time, making sure the numbers are in the correct order that I want to use my photos in. So I click Done, and it will then import them all into Video Shop. Once they're there, you can see that I've got a timeline at the bottom, and all of them are in the correct order. Now, the first thing I need to do to make it a square is click Resize, scroll along to where I find my one-to-one -one scale, click on that, tick the double arrow to make sure it does it to apply to all of my frames. So you'll now see that all of my frames are next to each other, and they just whiz through one after the other really quickly. Now, if we want to make an animation that runs really smooth as a little thing, we can bring the speed down to 000 0.30, apply that to all of them, and we'll have a very fast transition like this. Now, this is what I've used for some of my videos when I want to make them so they look really smooth transitions. But for the one I want to make today, I'm going to put it along to about 8 seconds, or just over 8 seconds. Eight and a half, and tick the double tick. Now, in order to get a YouTube short to play, it has to be under a minute long. So I scroll to the end and make sure my timeline is under a minute. In this case, it isn't. So I'd need to change the speed to slightly slower. Now, when I put the transitions in, that will speed up what's going on. So to add a transition, you'll see I've got lots of different tools along this bar here, which are really useful. Some of them are incredible tools, but I'll talk about those in future videos. So what we're looking for here is the word transition. We click on the transition button and it gives us a variety of options. We could go for a crossfade and I'll show you what that does quickly. So apply to all this way. When we are playing our animation, you'll see that one image crossfades into the other. And that is a really effective way of doing transitions. And you'll see the next one as it comes through there. So it crossfades the two images together. Now that's cool, but it's not the one we want. So we'll click on it, we'll hit the bin, and we'll bin that transition. Now we'll add a, the transition that I'm looking for, the one I showed you earlier. And it is in funky along here. And the transition we are looking for is called Ripple. We double tick that so that it applies to all of the transitions. And in order to make it slow, if you see now, if I play it, it will go quite quickly. And I think that's too fast. So if I click on the icon where the ripple is, and I put it on the maximum speed of five seconds, click the double tick arrow, and that will create a ripple effect. Now you'll notice that with the transition 
the whole animation will be done in about 52 seconds, which is great because it's under a minute. And we could also add some music if we wanted to. So if we want music, we could add some happy music. And there's lots of different options that we could use. And some of it's free. I'm going to use this time loop one that I've used before. So we'll download the song. And you'll see it comes up here as, as a song. And then when we play it, you will hear the song. Is essentially the basics we might also want to add in our own voice so we could have a speak over so we'd press the voice record and it would record our voice over our animation as well now once that is done we download it here save to camera roll and it will export our video like so and once that's been exported obviously we could go to YouTube and we can upload it as a YouTube short. Add it to our channel and enjoy. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. And if you have, obviously give it a thumbs up, give it a like, pop over to the channel and give that a thumbs up as well. Okay. Thank you for watching and goodbye.